What's going on guys, it's Tyler Jackson. I got Marcus Gilbert here and today we're gonna to show you guys how to use a multimeter tool. Now, as you can see, we have two outlets on the wall. We have a three prong outlet and a four prong outlet. Um, these are the most common outlets you'll see for a dryer. Now, Marcus is gonna show you what setting you need the multimeter on. And we're gonna to turn to the AC setting and we have it circled here. And the best way to know that you're on the right setting is you'll see the V with the squiggly line. So now what Marcus is going to do to the three prong outlet, he's going to test um, the legs first. And the best way to do that is to put one on the left side and then one at the top um, for the neutral. And you'll get a reading between uh, 110 and 120. So that's good. Now he's going to test the other side and we still have uh, 119, so that's good. So now Marcus is going to test across and that's testing the uh, bottom sides here. And you should get a reading between uh, 200 and 220, which is, this is a good sign that this outlet is good. Um, now, I just want to say that uh, when testing the four prong, um, as you can see, uh, the top would be your neutral. And then they have the ground down below for uh, safety. Um, so you, basically, it's the same process. Um, you would test, uh, you know, both legs and then test across to make sure that the numbers are right. So um, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And uh, I hope this video can help you. All right, guys. So there's actually another connection you can test. And then we got a dryer here. Um, as you can see, we have the uh, screws already screwed into the back of the dryer here. So I just want to point out that the middle um, is your ground and your neutral. So Marcus is going to show you here on what setting you need to be on. So we're going to go to the um, AC setting. And then Marcus is going to test each of these by putting one down there and in the middle. And as you can see, we have 118, 119. So that's good. So we're going to test the top. 119. That's also good. We're going to test one on top here again and we got 207 which is also good so this is the way you can test to make sure that uh you're getting the proper voltage to the back of the dryer have a great one